majority of car owners seem to have such a consensus, German cars are durable, and Japanese cars are fuel efficient, but the body of Japanese cars are light, thin, and not crash resistant. Is it true? Who is more crash resistant between Japanese cars and German cars? First of all, we must understand that the safety of a car is determined by many factors, such as body structure, body materials, airbags, active safety configuration and so on. The car crash test and accident cases directly verify how the safety is, and the difference is immediately apparent after detailed comparison. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Auto Age, now you are on the journey to look back at every change in the car, witness every surge in speed, and explore the mystery behind the car. Before we started today's video, please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. Okay, let's get started. Influencing Factors 1, Body Structure Some people say that they have seen a lot of car demolition videos, found that many Japanese cars' hood, doors, roof tin are very thin, with a light hand or a slight collision deflated, as a way to think that such cars are not safe. In fact, this is a wrong point of view. For example, an iron box is used to lock a mouse inside, and then it is thrown from a height. Because the iron box is very rigid, the collision energy generated by the landing is directly transmitted to the mouse, and the mouse has almost no possibility of surviving. However, if a good quilt is wrapped around the iron box, the strong impact energy generated by the landing is absorbed by the quilt, and the mouse is likely to be completely fine or only slightly injured. By the same token, the front and rear parts of the car will be designed with collapse energy absorbing structure, that is, in the front and rear parts of the vehicle design some appropriate strength of the area, when a collision occurs, on the one hand, the deformation of the body can be gradually deformed in accordance with the preset orientation until it stops, so as to minimize the transfer of impact to the cockpit. On the other hand, in the event of a collision, the structural parts of these energy-absorbing areas will be broken or bent and folded, so as not to be squeezed into the passenger compartment. The precise energy-absorbing design can effectively predict the energy-absorbing effect after the collision, thereby minimizing damage. In addition, car owners once complained that after a Japanese car collided, the engine was about to fall off, and they thought the quality of the car was too poor. In fact, this is the engine sinking technology, the purpose is to better protect the passengers. When the vehicle has a frontal collision, in order to prevent the engine and related parts from being squeezed into the cockpit and cause secondary damage to the passengers, the th sinking technology is used at this time. That is to say, after the collision occurs, According to the intensity of the collision, the corresponding mechanism is triggered, and the engine will automatically drop to a certain height, so that the engine will not be squeezed into the cockpit, and the original space is conducive to collapse and energy absorption. Influencing Factor 2, Body Material Body structure, collapse energy absorbing area, Front and rear crash beam and other key parts of the material is closely related to safety, generally cheaper models, it is likely that the front and rear bumper is a simple steel pipe, the price of some models generally use aluminum materials. Generally speaking, the aluminum alloy anti-collision beam is better than the steel frame anti-collision beam. Although the steel anti-collision beam has high pressure resistance, the collapse distance is short, and the aluminum alloy collapse may reach several centimeters or even dozens of centimeters. The force of the body is smaller and more uniform, and the impact energy absorbed is far greater than that of rigid materials. Better anti-collision beams and energy-absorbing boxes can better protect the safety of personnel. For body structure materials, the soft place must be soft, and the hard place must be hard. For example, 
Positions such as front and rear anti-collision beams, energy-absorbing boxes, longitudinal energy-absorbing, and overall collapse energy-absorbing areas need to be moderately soft. While the cage structure, like the ABC pillar to prevent squeezing into the passenger compartment needs to be hard. These structural parts are generally made of steel materials, such as high-strength steel, super-strength steel, and hot-formed steel. Different positions require different types of steel parts. Taking Japanese cars as an example, GAC Toyota's TNGA frame is well known. Models with TNGA frame are made of hot formed steel in the main parts and have a high rigidity body. Its safety has achieved excellent results in strict safety tests at home and abroad. In the safety test of the China Insurance Research Institute, the Camry and Rallink adopting the TNGA framework both achieved excellent results. For example, in the Rallink model, 590 MPA high-strength steel accounts for more than 42%, of which 1500 MPA hot-formed steel is mainly used for key parts such as the chassis, A pillar, B pillar, etc. to ensure the safety of the passenger compartment. From this point of view, it cannot be said that the safety of Japanese cars is not good, but it depends on the specific model, body structure, materials, and other factors. Influencing Factor 3, Security Configuration In addition to the factors of vehicle body structure and materials, the factors of active safety configuration and airbags are also important. For airbags, the more airbags and the more reasonable the position, the higher the safety. Many car owners have a bad impression of Japanese cars. There are few airbags and few safety features. In fact, it is mainly a matter of price. Japanese cars have always been fuel-efficient, durable, money-saving and practical. On the basis of a certain price, Japanese cars may put the focus on the entire vehicle stability, after all, for the vast majority of car owners, airbags may not be used for life, like saying that the plane is not equipped with a parachute, the two are slightly similar. In short, German cars give you a slightly better safety impression, mainly because German cars pay attention to balance. For example, the Volkswagen series, in terms of power performance, comfort, appearance, interior, space, safety function configuration, etc. It has a large tendency and is relatively comprehensive in all aspects, and to a certain extent, it is also to cater to consumers' wishes. In short, the main gap between Japanese and German cars in terms of vehicle safety lies in vehicle positioning and price. In addition, Japanese cars tend to be soft and safe, and more about crushing and energy absorption, while German cars may be more inclined to rigid safety of the whole vehicle. Of course, the crash test can only reflect the safety performance of a car from the side, and it cannot be said that the crash test represents the safety of the whole vehicle. Car safety is only relative and not absolute. If you are driving at a speed of 120 km per hour, and there is a rear-end collision in this case, then no car dares to say that it is safe, and it is likely to be scrapped directly. If the vehicle speed is 60 km per hour, the vehicle body structure, body material, safety configuration and other factors are very important at this time. It's the same sentence, safety or not depends on people, cars, and luck. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas with other people. Do you want to learn about more auto stories? Please keep following our channel and like our videos. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.